Hey angels, welcome back to Unique Mystery. So angels, I'm about to tell you guys about the time that I got handcuffed. Okay, so this happened to me some years ago. I was dating this guy and um, one night I dropped him off to a friend's house and I, um, I went home and he said he was supposed to be calling me when he was ready okay so I would say maybe like maybe about an hour later he called me and told me um, he was ready you know um, can I come back to pick him up so I went back to pick him up and you know just regular you know I wasn't thinking anything or you know nothing seemed wrong or unusual or out of place for me to be worried he was just um, at a friend's house and I was picking him back up so when I came back to the house yeah I was from unfamiliar with this place because this was not a place that I was you know always visiting or anything so when I came back to the house to pick him up he immediately came outside got in the car and um, I just pulled out soon as I pulled out I noticed that a police was behind me then I noticed that the police threw on his blue lights so I started getting very nervous and I was like why is this police stopping me like I just pulled out from picking you up you know I'm not doing anything I'm not speeding I didn't really have a chance to even get on the road yet so what's the problem I was like do you know why he's stopping me did you do anything do you know about anything he was like no okay so I pulled over the police comes to the car and says this is something he said like this is um, some type of area that a lot of drugs or something you know a lot of drug dealings happen at and this is like a watch area or something like that I was just lost cuz I was like first of all I never heard anything like that before this is my first time ever hearing something like that so okay I was like no I didn't know that so the police asked us could we step out the car and he, oh first he asked me what was we doing in this area and I told him I said I just came to pick up my boyfriend the guy that I was dating at the time so he said could we get out the car so he could check the car he said is there anything in this car that I need to know about and I was like no my heart was beating so fast because I was like, and I hope, you know, he doesn't have anything that I don't know about in my car. So, we got out the car. The police, it was, first it was one police, then he called another police. So, two polices was searching my car. For unknown reason, 
basically he said it was be just because of the area I was in but to me it was unknown because I know I didn't do anything wrong I was just picking somebody up from where they tell me to drop them off at which was supposedly a friend's house and picked them back up so I was innocent and I didn't know anything about what was going on so I was pissed that I had to stand outside of my car and my car had to get searched and I didn't do anything this time I didn't do anything so both of the polices took their time and searched my car thoroughly so at this time one of the polices came back to us and said ma'am are you sure you told me there was nothing in the car are you sure is it something that you want to tell me I said no it's not because no there's nothing in my car for me to tell you about so he said he showed me some type of drugs okay and he asked me where did they come from I said I don't know I have no idea where they came from he said well I found this under the back seat um my ex-boyfriend at the my ex-boyfriend at the time said told the police oh um I don't know where that came from either he said and the police said okay somebody knows where this came from because you guys just came out of a watch area and now there's some drugs found in the car I had no idea what was going on so the next thing I know, the police put some handcuffs on me, and I'm standing up outside on the road, handcuffed. Handcuffed, okay? And he was handcuffed as well. All was going through my head is, I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail because I don't belong in jail. I don't think I would make it in jail not one day and most importantly I don't know where the hell this stuff came from in my car I didn't do anything I'm innocent so the police said um ma'am are you sure you don't know where this came from at this time, uh, the other police was talking to my ex. My ex explained to him, you know, the whole deal, what happened, and they talked. So, um, I'm thinking, I don't really remember what it was that they found, but I'm assuming that it was, um, some weed a little bit of weed but um, I'm not sure if that's all it was but anyways after they talked everything got cleared up I, but you know the horrible part about it was that I experienced standing up outside of my car with handcuffs on as people were passing by it was so humiliating to me and I will never forget it because tears start rolling down my eyes because like I said I'm not the type of girl that belongs in jail I will not be comfortable in jail I want my freedom I like my freedom and I can't see myself behind bars, okay? Life is short and too short for me to be behind bars. And I don't like being told what to do. So I can't see that working for me. 
So that pissed me off, made me so mad, and it took me a long time to get over that. But after that happened, he was done with because I just, that was something I was not going to deal with. I hate dishonesty. I hate being put out there for something to happen to me. I hate people, you know, um, doing certain things that's going to, you know, make me go down along with them. I, I can't stand that. So that was the end of that. It was something I'm not going to deal with and I don't feel that I have to deal with. So that was the only time that ever happened to me. And, you know, I was just so mad about that. But, yeah, that was the time when I got handcuffed. And it was so, so, it was horrible for me. I just can't see how people do things to make them, you know, end up in jail. When I think of you know, being behind bars, that's like a horrible thing for me. Like, I can't understand how I would survive with my freedom being taken away from me. And like I said, I hate being told, you know, what to do too much already. So, how would I make it? So, by the good grace of God, everything was okay and I didn't end up in jail. So I just thank God that everything turned out the way that it did. So with that being said, guys, just make sure you always know the activity that's going on around you. Because when you have somebody around you that's doing the wrong type of stuff, once they get caught, most likely you're going down with them. Okay? So thank you guys for um, listening to this story time. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much, angels, and I will see you guys the next time. Bye.